Certainly a tough day yesterday here at Wrigley Field. Fans obviously disappointed at the result. The Cubs unable to win the division. The Brewers taking the 2018 NL Central crown for the first time in seven years, ending the Cubs streak of winning the Central crown for the past two years. But there is still hope in Wrigleyville because the Cubs are in the wildcard game, officially starting the postseason tonight in a one-game winner-take-all. On to the next round or go home for the rest of the winter uh, game tonight against the Rockies, who lost last night to the Dodgers in their own tiebreaker. So I had to ask Cubs fans after the game yesterday, were they feeling okay about today? Take a look. We operate better under pressure than any other team I've ever seen. You gotta believe. All the way, baby. We thrive off this. We're gonna win tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. It's fine. We're totally fine. You got an incredible beard, by the way. Well, thank you. I gotta say, you've got like this very stoic face. I, be I believe whatever you're telling me right now. It's called a resting <laughs> face. What would you do if one thing you would change for tomorrow? We win. I've been accused of having a resting face. Right. Will I see this on TV somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> Keep saying bitch and you won't. I know we're going to see you guys again, um, and it's going to be fun. We got to get more hits. That was the problem. Today they out hit us. How are you feeling about the game? Where am I? Here we just won. I don't even know what the score, but we won. I think the Brewers are going to celebrate a little bit too much tonight, <laughs> and then they're going to be hung over on Wednesday. <laughs> Can I try on the cheese head? If you don't mind the fleas. I don't. Oh, the fleas? <laughs> Ew! Go back to Wisconsin. Go Brewers! I don't condone that. All right, I'm gonna venture into enemy territory. Here they are. Yeah, those Brewers fans were certainly out in force at Wrigley Field yesterday. I gotta say, I've been to many, many, many Cubs games in my life. I've never seen that many opposing fans in the ballpark. So give credit to the Brewers fans for trekking down from Milwaukee and making some noise in the stadium yesterday. Give credit to the Brewers, obviously, winning that tiebreaker game. They've got a great pitching, an incredible bullpen, and probably the NL MVP and Christian Yelich coming through yesterday with a big RBI in his own right. Uh, we're gonna break down how the game went a little bit yesterday. Yesterday, but I want to talk a little bit about tonight's game. So everyone's wondering what's happening tonight. Well, the Cubs have got John Lester on the bump tonight for the Cubbies. He is an uh, eight and 18 game winner and ERA right around 3.3. So he's the guy you kind of want in these big game situations. He's a veteran of the league, a world champion, and uh, certainly that's who you want uh, pitching for the Cubs if you had a choice. For the Rockies, no slouch either. Kyle Freeland pitching. He's got 17 wins. Now the Cubs and Rockies met up six times this year with them splitting the games 3-3. But the last time these two teams met was was way back on May 2nd. They played all their games early on in the season, so certainly not a good barometer of what we're going to see tonight. And really, with the Cubs offense, this has been feast or famine all season long. They could score zero runs, maybe one run. They could come out with 10 tonight. We really don't know. All we do know is the Cubs have to win to advance the NL Divisional Series against those pesky Brewers. we got some friendly fans here, commuters heading to work. Jack, how are you doing this morning? Doing great. How are you? How are you feeling about yesterday? Uh, yesterday was a little tough, but uh, excited for tonight. Yeah, you're excited not only because of the, obviously the game, the do or die situation against the Rockies, but you're going. Of course. Are you the good luck charm then? I think so. I'll be I the don't bleachers. need you to think so. I need you to know so, Jack. I know so. All right, what are your keys to the game here tonight uh, for the Cubs' perspective? Uh, I think, unlike yesterday, I think we're going to have to start out on top. I think it's going to be pretty important. So we get got, the lead early. Exactly, and we got Lester on the mound, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. But uh, we're going to need to get, need to get the bats going. What do you? What, what's your prediction here? What do you think the score is going to be? Uh. I'd say 3-0, but the opposite way. Cubs on Cubs top. Cubs on top. Okay. Oh, you scared me there for a second. So you think a 3-0 Cubs win a shutout? That's what I think. All right, Jack. I'm sorry you just missed your train. You'll get the next one, though, uh, right? You're all good. Go Cubbies, right? Yeah, go Cubbies. All right, we got one optimistic fan. It's do or die, and they're changing the flags right now. They had the Brewers flag, the Wisconsin flag, and the Milwaukee flag. Well, guess what? There goes the state flag of Colorado. Soon it'll be the Denver flag, and then they'll end up with the Rockies flag tonight. And it all comes down to one game tonight. And I was wondering about Cubs fans yesterday, you know, what they were feeling about. Is the beer half full or is the beer half empty? Take a look. Sitting in Wrigley Field in October with my wife and my best buddy, you can't beat it. Well, I'm a nurse, so I work tomorrow. But I'm not planning on wearing scrubs. I'm planning on wearing a Cubs shirt. Are you coming to Harry to pray or something? Like a pilgrimage Just here. to cry. So you feel the Brewers are going to win the whole thing? Maybe. Lester's the great stopper, so they'll get into the playoffs. 2018, 2019 champ, all the time. Wait, you're only going for next year? <laughs> NL, NL Central. Central on three. One, two, One, three. Two. NL Central. You guys didn't say a word after that. We set the whole thing up. In my head, it was the same Brewers. Okay, and what were you saying in your head there? 
I just need a beer. We're the team to beat. We're the best team. I'm not worried. We have tomorrow. You got the Sox hat, you got the Cubs hat, but can we all agree on one thing? The, the beer. beer! Let's say we got a beer. Is it half full or is it half empty? It's half full. Where, where is the beer line? Probably about the third inning. I'm about halfway through that beer right now. I wasn't asking how much you drank in the game. I was optimism, pessimism. So the beer's still full. It's not half full. It's all the way. It's never empty. It's never empty. The beer is full. The beer is full. The beer is full. The beer is full. All right, optimism. The beer is full. We're feeling good about tonight. They're putting the flags up here. Guys, you feeling good about the Cubs game tonight? Oh, yeah. They, they probably can't hear us, but that's okay. All right, they got to put up the uh, Denver flag next, and then we're going to be putting up the Rockies flag here. Cubs versus Rockies tonight. Again, the first pitch is just after 7 o'clock tonight. If the Cubs lose, their season is over. If the Cubs win, they're going to face the Brewers in Milwaukee on Thursday for the start of the series. And again, it is a real huge game. John Lester on the bump for the Cubbies. I, we're all about making predictions. I think the Cubs are going to score some runs tonight. They're going to pull it out, and then they're going to go to Milwaukee, and they're going to win that series, too. Maybe that's just my optimistic Cubs fan thinking. Maybe uh, the beer's all full, but I drank some of it before uh, that prediction. 